Hey Pisces, welcome to your Pop Tarot Love Reading. So, um, this is just going to be a quick read for you for today. And um, I hope this would give you insights to whatever uh, situation you have right now in terms of um, love connections. Okay? And also, um, just be reminded that this is a general read. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings as well as my other extended readings. The links to those are in the description box below. Also, information about everything about my reading channel will be in my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. So go ahead and check them out if you're inclined. And um, to everybody, I hope everyone is staying well. And um, let's go ahead and do your reading, Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. We have um, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the World, and the Lovers, the Queen of Swords, as well as the Hermit. Okay, so Pisces, it feels like um, you and your person are currently processing uh, the ending that you may have had in, in this connection. That means that you were with this person and um, for some reason, things did not work out between the two of you. And the ending even would have um, taken quite a while for it to fully um, or totally end, or to even at least, you know, sink into you, to yourself, as well as to your person, that, hey, this is, um, this is over, you know, there could have been times when you were both uh, trying to um, get back together, it could be that you initiated it, or they did, or um, I could also see that possibly somebody here may have um, um, tried to approach the other person and yet um, there could be some rejection in the past, you know, trying to get back together, but um, things did not really pan out. And um, I do feel, Pisces, that it could have been you to have initiated that conversation uh, with your person or you may have expressed how you feel, uh, but um, you did not get a, a rather... Um, like desirable reply from your person, yeah? And so, um, I feel that you did, in fact, try to process the ending. This could be you realizing, you know, that um, there's nothing more you can do and uh, there's that level of acceptance or this is you trying to cope into getting everything understood by your mind as well as, you know, um, understanding what is. And I feel that you're getting some closure here. This could very well be that your, you and your person may have spoken things out and um, you have given each other closure. Or if that is not the case, this is you, Pisces, on your own. Um, you have actually um, come full circle with the situation. Yeah, With everything that has happened, you have begun to realize why the betrayal took place, why um, you were hurt, why things did not really pan out um, the way you expected it to be. Even though you tried um, uh, to put in effort and everything else to, to get this connection going. And I feel that it's, it's really beautiful, the energy that I see, because you are, um, you know, there is this sort of completion of, of a cycle right here, at least on your part. Well, uh, with regards to your person, Pisces, you may have been dealing with someone who, during the time of the breakup, they were not really, they don't have their mind and um, focus into the breakup, but rather they may be focused in uh, somewhere else. Yeah, they may be focused somewhere else. It could be that after you have first uh, separated, this person may have coped in, in differently. This could be someone who may have jumped in into another relationship right after. And um, therefore, the processing of, of the closure within them about this uh, connection may not have been done properly. But now you have come full circle and I feel like your person is undergoing the pain of the breakup. You know, if the breakup happened a year ago, 
this person is just feeling the pain of it or, or you know, the full impact of that as of the moment. So the, the effect in them is um, pretty much late. When you have come full circle, this person is just realizing it is just starting to feel the pain. And it feels like um, now, uh, in as much as this person would want to um, come closer to you, I feel that they are wanting to communicate, to come closer, or possibly check your temperature and how you feel about this relationship. Are you, are you still in this connection with them, or are you still connected? In as much as they want to do that, I feel that um, your person may be lacking confidence in doing that. So you might feel that they are not showing up as often, or they if they are uh, checking on you, it could be just um, randomly, you know. But this is a person who is wanting to see, is there still anything there? Is there still anything in this connection that they can get back to? Or how it's going to be like to be back? Or how can they make their way back? Mm -hmm. But I feel that um, as well, your person is feeling this... Um, you know, being left out in the cold right now, it feels that they are feeling alone. Um, perhaps even with the, what's happening in the world right now, all the more that this person would be needing support, emotional support, whatever that case may be, or however you supported them, it could even be financial. <clears throat> but this is someone who is um, missing that uh, the Pisces touch, you know, of um, in their life. They're missing this connection, the way you took care of them, the way you you handled them when um, they needed help, the way you extended yourself towards them. Definitely this person is missing it a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, the way I see it, Pisces, your person would um, still possibly um, take the distance, will... will uh, take some time off this relationship it's not because they don't want you of course they're missing this this um connection with you but at the same time um they are beginning to realize you know that hey this connection with pisces is is finally over you may have moved on while now they may want to come back, but how are they going to do that? So I feel that um, there's going to be a lot of time spent alone or, or this person will do more self-realization, um, self-check, self-discovery as to what do they truly want in this connection? Is it just the support that Pisces is giving or is it truly the connection that um, they are missing? And if they do feel that the connection is real, what are they going to do after? So that's, um, this person needs that uh, time alone to get into some form of realization right here. Yeah. But I like that you have come full circle Pisces and um, you are actually standing in your power right now. You are clear with how things have transpired. You're clear about what you have put into this connection, what you have gotten back, and what this person has been um, showing you all this while. So stand with that clarity, and I feel that you're even open to hear this person if if ever they would come back and speak uh, their truth towards you, their true intention, show them uh, showing you their authentic self. I feel that you would appreciate that as long as it's true and authentic. So that's all I have for you, Pisces, for this week, and um, watch out for my WLC weekly love connections reading every Fridays. And in those readings, there could um, possibly, if, if you're, yeah, there could be some extended readings in there as well that you may enjoy. And um, also, if you want to uh, watch my other readings, I do have them on the screen as well as um, in my uh, YouTube channel. I have the Pisces Love um, playlist in there that you could um, check out, okay? So take care, everybody, and uh, be well.